Welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. You know, so, nice to be, so nice to be with these people tonight. Here's the thing. The news is so dark these days. I'd like to start off tonight with a story of hope that honors an American hero. There's a viral video of this beverage cart at O'Hare Airport. Jim, it's spinning. It's spinning. It's going to hit the plane. Oh, it barely misses the plane. And blam! Forklift guy saves the day. A tip for any passenger flying on that plane, do not order anything carbonated. I just love that video. I just love that video, that video so much. Crazy. It's, a wild it's got video. everything. Uh -huh. You know who else liked that video? Mm. Donald Trump. <laughs> it's true. I'm not making that up. Trump retweeted it with the comment, great job, just in time. God, he's got a lot of time on his hands. Cat's got a lot of time on his hands. <laughs> he's got a lot of time. I agree, Mr. President. I think we can all relate to the story of a dangerous, out-of-control thing being stopped just in time. <laughs> I can see why Trump needs something to take his mind off the news these days, because this Ukraine scandal is moving faster than a chalupa through a goose. <laughs> and now, the scrutiny has focused on Trump's inner circle. I'll tell you all about it in tonight's edition of Don and the Giant Impeach. That call was perfect. It couldn't have been nicer. Glad to use that again. Glad we got to use this again. The first uh, top Trump official implicated in this is attorney general and <laughs> cannibal at a summer camp, <laughs> Bill Barr. We found out yesterday that Trump pressed Australia's leader to help Barr investigate the Mueller inquiry's origins. Yes, Trump wants any information the Australians can give him. Hello? <laughs> Kangaroo Jack? Listen, you guys... <laughs> You guys are 14 hours in the future. What did I tweet tomorrow? <laughs> what did I do this time? Extra Am I diet. in trouble? <laughs> Hello? It's just a finger. And we found out the attorney general is part of this highly unusual event. In fact, current and former intelligence and law enforcement officials have expressed frustration and alarm that Barr is taking such a direct role in re-examining what they view as conspiracy theories. Bill Barr is traveling the world trying to prove that all of Trump's conspiracy theories are true. He's going to find Obama's birth certificate. He's going to rescue all the people that aliens abducted from Trump's inauguration crowd <laughs> and finally bring help to a hurricane-ravaged Alabama. Did the hurricane? Let's get this. Let's get this. Let's get this. Australia is just the tip of the crazy berg here because Barr also reached out to British intelligence officials, and last week the attorney general traveled to Italy, where he met with senior Italian government officials. Really, Italy? Either Barr is on a worldwide collusion tour. Or he's on the journey of midlife discovery called Eat, Pray, Lie. <laughs> Come on, Liz. Come on, Liz, write that thing. Uh. Uh, next domino about to fall, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, seen here smelling the blood of an Englishman. <laughs> yesterday, this is just yesterday, we learned that Pompeo took part in the Trump Zelensky phone call. He was on the line, even though he was asked about it two weeks ago, and he played dumb. I mean, like, I think people someday will forget I was a willing part of this administration dumb. I want to turn to this whistleblower complaint. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that President Trump pressed the president of Ukraine eight times to work with Rudy Giuliani to investigate Joe Biden's son. What do you know about those conversations? So you just gave me a report about a IC whistleblower campaign, not, none of which I've seen. Well, you, you just gave me a report uh, from the I... I oop, elevator going down, elevator going down. The 
final member of the about to lose power trio is Trump lawyer and <laughs> man shocked to find out he's still welcome on TV. Rudy Giuliani. Yesterday, House Democrats subpoenaed Giuliani to produce documents in the impeachment inquiry. In their attached letter, the chairman of three House committees made clear, our inquiry includes an investigation of credible allegations that you acted as an agent of the president in a scheme to advance his personal political interests by abusing the power of the office of the president. Well, duh. <laughs> That's what it says on Giuliani's tramp stamp. <laughs> Either he looks good. He looks good. That's what he says. He looks good, huh? Oh, yeah, he's been in the gym, huh? Looks good. What's wrong? Give the people what they want. Either Giuliani turns over the documents or he risks obstruction charges. So last night he went on Fox News to consider his options. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm weighing the alternatives. I'm, I'll kind of like go through it. I'll get all my evidence together. I'll get my charts. I don't know if they let me uh, use videotapes and tape recordings that I have, if they let me um, get some of the evidence that I gather. Yes, it depends on whether they let me present all the evidence, the charts, the, the videotapes, the balls of red twine I use to connect random newspaper clippings uh. on the cork board in my basement, which is where I also keep my jars of urine that speak to me in the night. <laughs> and let, my te let me tell you, Sean, they are pissed. Giuliani, nothing like Giuliani. That sounds nothing like Mayor Giuliani. 100%. More like Gilbert Godfrey. Giuliani continued to rail against Joe Biden and then had a warning for the other side. Wake up, Democrats. You are covering up corruption, and by the time this is over, you're going to be the party of corruption. I prosecuted corruption, Democrats and Republicans. I can smell this. I can smell this. And you can smell it, too, because I yanked this corruption story straight out of my keister. 